far as innovation or new product development is concerned, see, you may be considered that when it comes to new product or innovation, only thinking about what products you use, but that is the end story. Innovation in Amul starts at the farmer's level. We have got 3.6 million farmers, each having one or two cows and buffalo. And they are pouring milk in a village cooperative society, and we have got 18,500 village cooperatives. So first innovation, what we have done is, from the old traditional model of manual procurement, how to automate it. So we have got automatic milk collection system, app-based, where a farmer, if a lady gives milk to the village cooperative societies, she comes through through the app how much milk she has poured in the society, what was the fat and protein content, what was the price paid to her, how much money deposited in her account in his, her bank account. So it is bringing transparency in the system. Similarly, we also know the history of that farmer how many animals she has got, what is milk she is pouring, etc. Similarly, when you got animal like human being, they also get sick, they also need a lot of veterinary care. So we have got app-based system where you can make out that if in case of any emergency or veterinary disease, you do just enter on your app that you need doctor. Immediately, the message will go to the nearest doctor and he or she will come within one or two hours to treat your animal, and he will be having the whole history of the animal based when uh, RFID is tag, where it is just, uh, you just uh, do number, enter number of the animal, or scan it, and you know the history, and you prescribe medicine. So you can say in case of Gujarat, like human being, you don't go to the doctor, especially from villages to the cities. Doctors come to your doorstep to treat. So that is the innovation in the veterinary service game. One word if I say, after two pandemic summers, mm -hmm. this summer is extra bullish. We have never expected that this much demand will come for summer products. I mean, generally, ice creams or beverages cool. There are three segments: uh, in-home consumption, out of consumption, and the horeca, hotel, restaurant, or caterers. All three are on the peak. I mean, I can say whether it's ice cream or the beverages, ours sale is around 40 to 50 percent higher than the i'm not talking previous two years even 2019 when summer so whatever we have lost in the last two summers much more than we have recovered let me tell you what price increase we have done in last two years eight to nine percent it is the minimum, not only in India, but in the world. All over the world, there has been increase in the prices of dairy products around 15 to 30%, in, even in the developed or dairy-rich countries like Europe, USA, etc. Also. India is minimum. And let me tell you, there will not be drop as far as price, MRP, or retail prices, because there's no need, it will not drop also, let me tell you. Because it is minimum. And there have been a number of reasons for this increase. First is, last two years, feed cost, because you get milk after feeding the animal, has increased tremendously. 15 to 30% increase in the feed cost. Energy cost, because in milk, you need a lot of energy to heat and chill it and that increased by 35 to 40%. Logistic cost, 35 to 40%. Packaging, 40%. All costs have increased tremendously last two years. So there was a lot of pressure on costing. Farmers wanted more money because their feed cost and other things have increased. So naturally, we have to give them more. So although 
increase in retail price is not commensurate to the cost of production or cost of processing or transportation. It is less than that. Other factor is that during COVID, wherever Amul other cooperatives are stronger, we have not reduced the price being paid to the farmers. Rather, we kept more or little increase and we started getting more milk. But in the states like Maharashtra, UP, and other northern states where cooperative is not strong, and most of the dairies are buying organized unorganized sector for the local needs or the commodity, their farmers' price of milk reduced drastically. I give you an example. Before COVID, farmer was getting in Maharashtra around 30 to 31 rupees a liter of milk, which reduced to 18 or 20 rupees in Maharashtra during COVID. Now it has come back to 36 rupees. So it, now you can say it's good for the farmers that uh, prices are getting good. They, all agriculture produces when price is increasing, we should not call it inflation. We should call it increase in farmers' income. 